Well, another gorgeous Saturday was today. No clouds in sight, perfectly timed after such a rainy Friday. Get this, this was the fourth rainy Friday in a row. I was wrong about saying that it was three yesterday. It, it was indeed four, but right now most of us are in the mid to upper 60s. Steadily temperatures falling as we head towards the evening hours. As we do, we'll get into the 40s overnight tonight, upper 30s, lower 40s for our evening lows. Those will carry over into Sunday morning, so if you have anywhere to be, especially early on Sunday morning, might want to pack an extra jacket or an extra couple layers. The morning will be cold hanging out in those 40s, but as we move more towards the lunchtime hour, we get up into the 60s and then into the 70s for our highs on Saturday or on Sunday. We'll stick those out throughout the afternoon, dropping back into the 60s by Sunday afternoon with plenty of sunshine. Clouds move in more towards the evening, though, ahead of a mostly cloudy Monday, but Sunday is going to start mostly sunny and mostly cloudy. Should have plenty of sunshine in there, plenty of more weekend fun to be had there, especially before what's coming up ahead of this next week, because we do have a severe risk coming up. This will be for Monday night into Tuesday. The National uh, the National Weather Service and Storm Prediction Center have already put us under a slight risk for most of our counties and those that aren't are under a marginal risk. This is for Monday night heading into Tuesday. We got another line of strong storms coming in accompanied with a cold front. The main threats for this aren't tornadoes, not hail, but high winds and a good bit of rain comes with this about an inch about about one to two inches of rain do come with this front. Let me time that out for you now. About 5 p.m. We'll start to see showers throughout the area ahead of the main line that will cross the Mississippi River. And by bedtime on Monday, you're already we're already seeing rain and some storms along and beneath the I-20 line right there coming into Monday overnight and into Tuesday morning, Tuesday early, early morning. This does move in and as it does, well, Meridian proper is getting hit right about the five o'clock, six o'clock hour. So this is going to be quite an early morning event, but if there anything, if there does happen to break anything, we will be on air to help you through that. But then again, the main threat with this is just going to be high winds, but you can stay tuned to Storm Team 11 and we will make sure to keep you updated on this as the situation progresses because model guidance still isn't exactly certain on the timing of this. So the timing could still be a little off and I'll make sure to keep you posted on this as we move later through the day and into uh, tomorrow as well. And towards the time of the event that'll move on through by noon on Tuesday and by 5 p.m. We're starting to see clouds clear out for a rather clear start to next week. Now, another big threat that comes with this is the threat of wind. We'll see winds with gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour throughout Sunday and on even into Monday ahead of that front. We'll see winds upwards of 35 and 40 miles per or gusts upwards of 35 and 40 miles per hour on Monday. On Tuesday, we will see winds upwards of 30 miles per hour as well with gusts with gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. But fortunately, behind that line, the winds do taper off. Take a look now at our seven day forecast. We will be in the 70s starting off with that rain moving through. Sort of a late hit from that call front though. We'll be only be dropping back into the 60s by Wednesday with sunshine throughout the rest of the week.